Hey guys, welcome back to the Loose Transistor channel. I'm your host, Lucas, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I was actually able to mod my Fat Shark Attitude V3s to work with the LaForge, uh, sorry, not the LaForge, the Furious FPV True D module. So ever since I posted a video on a guide on how to flash the True D, I got a lot of questions as to how I was able to install the True D on the Attitude. And to be totally honest with you, it's actually fairly easy. There's two methods out there that I found so far. One involves uh, actually putting on some curved pin headers on this side of your goggles to mate up with the with the with the module. But I'm going to show you the way that I did it. That turned out to be very 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 simple and uh, actually looks pretty good. So let me just readjust the camera here so we can all be on the same page and so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, friends. So. Pretty much the only thing you're gonna need to be able to do this mod on the attitudes is a little hobby knife like this. Uh, sharper the better, and all you're gonna do is remove a little bit of material, and I'm gonna show you right now where you're gonna remove that material. So, once you've removed the cover from the from the attitude V3s and you're ready to install the the module, you'll notice uh, on on here on the bottom of the of the opening here for the module, there's a bit of a ridge. This little ridge right here uh, holds the cover in place, like the little black cover that comes with attitude. That's where they, that's where it holds onto it. On the top here, you will also find the same type of ridge, except on mine, I've removed it. So you've already clued into how this mod works. So basically, all you're going to have to do, and you can do that either at the top or at the bottom, I believe. But I think, sorry, no. Uh, you have to do it in the top. Uh, I just remember that now. You must remove the material on the top, not the bottom. Don't worry about the bottom. It's totally fine as it is. So basically all you're going to do with your hobby knife is come along and remove this ridge, this ridge that goes all the way around. But remember, on the top, not the bottom. So you remove this ridge so that it sits flush. And I'm going to flip it around here so you can see a little bit better. You might be able to see all the little cut marks that I did there. And basically all I did was very slowly drag this around and cut and cut and cut until it was flush with the inside of the module bay. Once you've done that, you will have enough clearance so that the module right here, so this is the, the True D, it will slide right in and you won't have to do anything else other than just push it into place. Boom, just like that, you've installed the True D module with very, very, very minimal modifications. Yes, it's a destructive form of modification because you are cutting your goggles, but it's such a minute amount that you're going to be removing. And honestly, once you tried the True D, I really doubt that you're going to go back to the stock uh, next wave module just because the True D is actually a much superior module. So I'm going to show it here up close to you guys. You can't really see anything. It still has the same shape as it did before. You can barely tell that I took anything off here. And uh, the only last little touch that I had was the, was the lid right here. So this lid here, uh, it actually came with the True D. It is the, the stock lid. All I did was round it out with some uh, with a belt sander, and I rounded it all out, made it nice, nice, nothing too fancy. Then just hit it with some uh, Rust Oleum Red, Fire Engine Red, and uh, oh yeah, another thing. Uh, when you get the cover, it'll have a very tall ridge around here. You won't be able to use the cover with that ridge because it will not fit in between the module and the goggles. So all I did was plane it down a bit just so it left a little tiny bit of a lip so you can see how much of a lip I left. And as you can see right here and here. And I did the same on the other side. It's not perfect, but you can see that there's a bit of a lip right there that I still left, even though I removed most of the stuff that was up here on the top. And now uh, the cover will basically just slot right in that way. And it will hold on to the module itself and you'll be good to go. You might be wondering to yourself, oh, but isn't this uh, going to be flimsy and is it going to fall off my goggles? Well, no, not really. It is fairly firm. But if you're worried about it, my suggestion to you would be to just add a tiny little bit of uh, double-sided tape to the inside of the module, the module bay, right over here. Just don't put too much, just a tiny little bit uh, somewhere over here will be okay and it will hold the module in place for you and you shouldn't have any problems. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope that helps you guys who own Attitude V3s figure out how you too can have the true D diversity and uh, go at it because uh, it's not that destructive of a mod. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you subscribe so that I can keep putting more videos like this to help you guys out. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. 